Hello booktube, my name is Elizabeth. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Book and Moon Books, and welcome or welcome back to this ultimate Jane Austen ranking series. In this video, I think it is now the ninth in the series, I'm going to rank the books according to how much they make me laugh. Because Jane Austen wrote comedies, and I think it's important that a comedy makes the reader laugh or at least smile. So I'm going to rank the books according to that criteria. Um, so what is the comedy in Jane Austen? Sometimes it's a situation, sometimes it's just a situation that's completely ridiculous, and sometimes it's a character. Just the character in and of himself or herself is just so ridiculous, so funny that whenever they step in the room, I just smile or I laugh. So I think these are the best ways that Jane Austen uh, creates comedy and also the tone, the tone in which she writes. It's just so funny uh, in many cases. So I'm going to rank the books according to how much they make me laugh or smile. So at number six is Mansfield Park. I think it's the most serious of Jane Austen's novel. In fact, it is not funny at all. Um, there are a few moments where I smile. Um, so the, the characters that are bringing the comedy in this book, they are Mr. Rushworth, who is Mariah's fiance, who is a man who is completely ridiculous. He, he has money and he has a position in the county, but he is an idiot. He really is not intelligent. And poor Mariah decided to marry him for the money, really, and not because she loved him. And I think in a way that makes Mr. Rushworth a character that, that attracts more pity. So I, I kind of... I'm sorry for him. He doesn't really make me laugh. And the other character that is supposed to bring uh, laughter and merriment is Mrs. Morris. And she doesn't always come out as funny. She very often comes out as just plain mean. So that, that I don't think it works as well as it should, with me at least. Um, I don't think they are as funny as they could be. Um, so yeah, and also the funny situations are not that many. There's the entire episode of when they are trying to uh, put on a play uh, while Sir Thomas is absent. And it could be funny, but it just drags on for too long. There are too many chapters spent on that. So for that reason, I don't think it's particularly funny. I don't think it's meant to be a particularly funny book, and it is not. So I put it at number six. At number five, another book that is considered to be quite serious, but I think there's more humor in that than we think. It is Persuasion. Um, there are no laugh-out-loud situations in that book, but there are quite a few that make me smile. The character of Mary Musgrove, uh, who is a, who could almost be compared to Molière's The Image, imaginary invalid. Uh, she thinks herself sick, she thinks that she's uh, uh, she's about to be sick, uh, That, uh, but of course uh, when energy is needed that she does, she doesn't understand why everybody thinks that she doesn't have the energy to go for a walk and of course after a few, not meters, but after going on for a few minutes she will need rest and um, yeah, she's a very funny character in ever in and of herself. And there's also the Elliot Pride. Uh, Sir Walter Elliot is a completely ridiculous character and so is the eldest daughter Elizabeth. Uh, but then we don't see them that much. Uh, we don't spend that much time with them. So that means that there is not that many situations where we can just laugh at them. And um, yeah, so uh, there are quite a few funny parts in um, Persuasion, but it's not laugh out loud funny. Uh, many places make me smile, but not necessarily laugh. Um, next, at number four, Northanger Abbey. Uh, in this book, the comedy is provided almost entirely, well, not entirely, uh, it's provided by Catherine Morland and her imagination gone wild. So that's in the second part. In the first part, I have to admit the comedy is brought by John Thorpe and Isabella Thorpe. Uh, two, both of them, the two Thorpe siblings, are quite ridiculous characters. Um, Isabella is constantly flirting with everyone and she she's convinced that she is completely sincere in her affections for um, Catherine's brother and that she will love him forever but of course as soon as he's gone she's thinking about another man or uh, she's flirting with someone else she constantly needs affection and she needs parties and she she's a very silly girl and then there's John Thorpe who keeps thinking about speed and just uh, he, he's quite a ridiculous character too uh, but then again uh, the, these two so um, the the, the the Thorpes at the beginning and then Catherine Morland's imagination at the end. Um, they're funny, they make me smile, but they don't necessarily make me laugh out loud. Uh, well, another thing that made me smile in uh, this book is how Catherine Morland is basically 
fangirling, if you to allow me the expression, the modern expression, over the mysteries of Udolfo. Um, in that, she's very much a teenager, just having a complete, uh, being completely subsumed by her passion and just being completely uh, dedicated to it and not really understanding why people are not talking about that. So that is also something that is very funny in the book. But then again, it doesn't sustain the entire book. So number four. At number three, A Sense and Sensibility. A comedic aspect is brought by quite a few characters in this book. So there's, of course, the uh, character of Mrs. Jennings, who is very funny. Uh, Fanny Dashwood, even though she, she's mean, she's very, very mean, but she, she's mean in a funny way. Her greediness is, is ridiculous. It's laughable. It's quite funny. And there are the two Miss Steeles. There's the eldest who keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and doesn't know when to shut up. And that is, of course, very funny. And Lucy Steele herself is quite a funny character. I admire Lucy Steele. I wish she had more page time. But um, all of these characters bring a lot of funny situations. Now, there are, of course, tragic situations. But in general, it, it's kind of a funny book. There, there's a lot of comedy in there. Quite a bit. Uh, is there a laugh out loud? I'm trying to think of a, of a scene that made me laugh out loud. And I cannot think of one just spontaneously like, like that. Except perhaps when we are told at the end how Lucy Steele managed to snatch uh, Robert Ferris. It is funny. It is really funny, but it's it's not told directly. It's told indirectly. We learn of it through. Uh, so we are not witnesses to uh, Lucy Steele's snatching uh, Robert Ferris. I wish we were. But basically, it's it's a funny novel. There's a lot of things going on in there. So very funny. Number three, at number two, a very funny novel. It's Emma. Um, so many things. It, in tone, it's one of the lightest, if not the lightest, novel. It's uh, it's meant to be a com comedy, clearly and obviously. Um, for one thing, Emma is not very likable, and the fact that there's a main character who's not very likable can lead to a lot of comedy. Um, there are a few characters that are just ridiculous in and of themselves. There's Miss Bates, who is another character who cannot stop talking. She just talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. And th that makes quite a... It makes for a good piece of comedy. And there's, of course, the characters of the Eltons. So Mr. Elton and Mrs. Elton eventually uh, with their uh, self-importance and they are very stuffy people. And uh, it's kind of ridiculous in young people to be that stuffy because neither of them is very old. They are in their mid-twenties and yet they behave as though they are, they have been uh, the vicar or the at the parsonage for like... Um, 50 years or something. So quite, quite ridiculous. Um, and of course, Mr. Woodhouse, who keeps thinking he's ill, completely hypochondriac. And that is also a very funny character just in and of himself. So when you put that many funny characters in a closed environment, funny situations will happen. And the, the entire... The, the entire love life, I'm going to say, of Harriet Smith and how Emma manages to convince her that she's in love with Mr. Elton, that Mr. Elton is going, is, loves her, and how Harriet manages to get a complete crush on Mr. Knightley, uh, and how Emma thinks that she Harriet has a crush on Mr. Churchill, and all of the quiproquos like that. Um, uh, basically, I'm not going to retell you the novel, but basically it, every, every chapter in this book has potential for comedy. Um, but once again, I don't laugh out loud in this one as much as I laugh out loud in this one. <laughs> Pride and Prejudice at number one again. It's the funniest, I think, of Jane Austen's novels. So in this one, we have, again, ridiculous characters. Mr. Collins is probably the incarnation of the funny character, and we see him quite a bit. Uh, there's also the neighbor, Sir William Lucas, who appears to be very uh, satisfied with his position in life. He has become a knight after having been a uh, merchant uh, in, um, in Meryton, I guess, beforehand. Um, and we have the character of uh, Mrs. Bennet and even Mr. Bennet. Just they, they walk in the room and there's something funny is going uh, to happen. Um, and the, the situations, the funny situation, they never stop. So there's, of course, Mr. Collins' proposal to Elizabeth. That is quite hilarious. And uh, towards the end, when Lydia and Wickham come back to Longbourn, the, the entire scene is just laugh out loud funny. Every scene with Caroline Bingley makes me smile, if not laugh. It's just, she's such a ridiculous character, too. So, um, yeah, th this is really, truly a very funny novel. Um, the funniest, I think. And um, 
yeah it's, it's the funniest Jane Austen novel I think it's where the comedy is at its highest at its finest and that's the best so number one so let me know in the comments what you think about it uh do you agree with my ranking do you think uh do you think do you think Mansfield Park is funny I don't think it is very funny but perhaps I missed something about it so anyway let me know in the comments what you think and I will see you in the next video which will be the final ranking of Jane Austen's novels Stay tuned. I will see you in the next video. À la prochaine!